planet is dying and it's dying fast. Every day, trees are being cut down. Ice is melting. It's causing floods and typhoons. Animals are trapped in plastic. 14 billion tons of waste is dumped into the oceans every year. Children don't go to school, but they work on dump sites. There aren't 1 billion cars in the world. Can you imagine what this means for our children, for their kidneys, for their lungs, for their well-being? In 2012, 1.7 million children have died due to the effects of pollution. That's 26% of all deaths of children under five. But today, I say enough is enough. It is time for a change. My name is Kahekusha, I'm 16 years old, and this is my story. This is little Kekasha, 16 years ago. A very special girl born in Dubai on a special day. The 5th of June, World Environment Day. No surprise that her passion for the environment started at a very young age. I have always loved nature. It was always a part of my life. My favorite animal is the koala. It's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. The first thing that really touched me was a picture of a bird which had ingested the plastic. When I saw that on TV, I realized that it's probably time I did something. And so she does. On her eighth birthday, she decides to plant her first tree. She starts to mobilize children and neighbors to join her in saving the planet. At the age of 12, Kekasha is selected to become the United Nations Environment Coordinator for Children and Youth. Today, I am going to talk to you about what matters to us, children, that we children can be equally active in the sustainable development process as adults. But that's just the beginning. Back home, Kekasha decides to do even more, to dream bigger and to move faster. She starts her own organization, Green Hope, a green movement of passionate children fighting for our planet. We children, we are the future, but we are also the change, and we will move this world. Every week, more children join her activities. Together, they plant trees, organize recycling activities and educational trips, and they clean up beaches. So, are we ready for this beach cleanup? Yeah! Let's go! For Kekasha, education is the key to change. She organizes conferences where children and youth can learn all about protecting the environment. Why do we keep ignoring climate change as a threat? In every possible way, Kekasha is motivating children to live the change. Recycle! The onus is upon us, the youth, to take the lead and rise up to the challenge to mitigate climate change. Age has nothing to do with capability, and it just proves to everyone that we are capable as children. All around the world, children have followed her example. Kekasha has mobilized children and youth to join her movement in 10 different countries. Green Hope has become a truly global organization with over a thousand young members internationally. There are so many young people around the world who are enthusiastic about doing something for the planet. So that gives me the energy to motivate even more of them. Every day, Kekasha is impacting and inspiring thousands of children. And there's no stopping her, because she's on a mission. My goal is to mobilize as many children as possible to get the future we want. We are violating the rights of millions of children without even knowing it the rights to survival, the rights to development, the rights to a healthy standard. It's time for us to start acting now. Even the youngest kids love to be around Kekasha. For them, she wrote a children's book. It's called The Tree of Hope. I wanted to use that to spread awareness amongst the really young children. No matter how old you are, you can always start making a difference. We, the children, have so much potential all of us working together, that will ultimately help us achieve a sustainable world. Our planet is in danger. We can't lose it. We have to keep it. Help us, join us, and let's make this world the greatest place. 
thanks to Kekasha, children all around the world have become change makers. That's why Kekasha is the rightful winner of the International Children's Peace Prize 2016.